everybody. Um, so today I am leaving Byron Bay and I am going to Brisbane, which is my last destination before I go back to the United States. Um, today I went snorkeling and uh, if I have any footage, I'll show it to you at the end of the video. Um, but my GoPro died, so I couldn't show you anything. Um, but I saw a lot of really cool stuff, uh, lots of really pretty like tropical fish, lots of leopard sharks, two sea turtles, um, let's see what else, lots of puffer fish, uh, and then I went out like a little further um, past where everybody else was, I don't know if I was supposed to be there or not, but I was out there and I saw an actual shark. Um, I'm going to have to look it up and see what kind it is, but I saw it. Um, it freaked me out, and so I swam like right back to where I was supposed to be um, and told everybody else and they all wanted to go see it, but uh, <laughs> I had enough adventure for that day. Um, so yeah, this is going to be about another two hours to Brisbane, and then um, you guys can meet Vanessa. gonna go to a vineyard but like all the vineyards are kind of like out of my way uh, so I'm not 100% on that um, I think that if I'm gonna go to one Vanessa's wedding is um, at O'Reilly's rainforest uh, and there's also a vineyard in front of that so um, that's probably where I'm gonna be going to a vineyard I'm gonna go to a vineyard uh, otherwise, I might skip that part and see if they have something in the airport that resembles a wine cork or something like that. Um, Byron Bay was amazing. It was so kind of like weirdly touristy and full of all kinds of hippies. Um, my mom would love it. But I didn't really shoot very much footage there. Um, I didn't take my camera with me when I went out shopping and I was kind of just having like a relaxing day so there wasn't really anything to record or do. I just was out shopping and looking at the beach and um, Lord knows I've taken enough beach videos for you guys so um, I didn't record that much for you so sorry <laughs> again about that. Um, today might be another boring one too so I might combine today's like the Australia zoos or something like that so you will know how this video turns out considering you're the ones watching it um and yeah still on the quest not to hit any animals so far so good um if I make it through these two hours uh, I think that I will have actually made it um because <laughs> then I'm not on the freeway anymore and then I won't have to worry about it so um Fingers crossed that I don't get a rock to my windshield or hit a kangaroo, a koala, or wombats. So watch out for wombats. Uh, yeah. In addition to wild pigs, wild cows, kangaroos, wallabies, now there is wombats. So, yeah. Another wonderful thing to watch out for while I'm driving. We'll keep you posted and show you guys a little bit more of what I'm doing. These last few days are going to be a little boring until Vanessa's wedding and then I'll get all turned up and show you guys how awesome Vanessa's wedding is. Um, I want to do a good job trying to like get really good moments of her wedding um, just so I can make like a nice little video for her because I think that would be kind of cool. Um, I don't know what kind of photography she's got going on but I mean it would just be kind of cool for her to see it from another perspective anyway. So, um, definitely gonna do that. Definitely gonna hang out with some of my old Nuffs friends.
Come on, buddy. Get out of the road. Goodness gracious, I'm trying not to hit you. Go home. There you go. Go home. Go home. Good, buddy. Oh, there's your friend. So, today is wedding day. I might have had a very large glass of wine. Um, so I'm doing this not 100% sober. Uh, I also have makeup on, which probably makes me look a lot different than I've been looking in the past couple days. Um, but in a really good way, I'm sure. Um, I think this is the first time that I've ever actually dressed up in Australia. Um, so it's feeling kind of weird. But yeah, today's wedding day. It's Vanessa's wedding day. Unfortunately, that also means it's like two days before I leave. I leave on Monday. And it's Saturday. Um, it's very upsetting. I leave like at the crack of dawn um, on Sunday. So that's upsetting. But I'm still here. Gotta make the most of it while it's gonna last. I'm gonna do a lot of video recording of Vanessa's wedding. I'll put some of the stuff in here, but I think that what I wanna do in the end is like make like a really nice video for her wedding that's just her wedding. Um, and if she wants me to, I'll put it up here as well. Um, it'd be kind of nice for you guys to see what I did. I'm reuniting with a lot of my friends that I met when I was in Japan, because Vanessa is one of my friends that I met when I was studying abroad in Japan. Um, so I'm kind of reuniting with a lot of those people as well, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, there's there's a lot of people that couldn't make it, which is unfortunate, because it's going to be awesome. Um, but yeah, I think I'm too drunk to vlog. Um, yeah, so here's my tiny little room. It's really messy, so I'm sorry for showing you how messy it is, but um, I got a cute little room all to myself. I have my own shower, which is important. I didn't have that with any of the hostels, unfortunately. Um, but I did, I did one of my motels, I suppose, one in Port Macquarie. It was really nice. I don't think I put in any of the vlogs, but some of you probably saw it on Facebook. Um, that was That was lovely. Um, so this is my third favorite spot. My first favorite would be Vanessa's house. Perfect size for me. Port Macquarie is just like too too big. There's too much space. Um, this is exactly like the perfect space for a single person. Um, and like the bathroom is like perfect and everything is like really nice. And, um, I'm really upset, um, but I'm also happy to go home and get back to work and all things that happen. 